Hey everyone, welcome back to Rain Muffin at the Movies, and it looks like Scarlett might get her movie after all. So this is being reported by Bounding Into Comics, and we have Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow movie in production as set photos surface. Now what's interesting, this looks like an old picture. This doesn't look like a, a new one. Um, this is her several years ago in the red hair in the MCU. So Scarlett Johansson, director Kate Shortland, and Marvel Studios' upcoming Black Widow film appears to have gone into production as a number of set photos and a couple of set videos have surfaced. Uh, according to Twitter, user uh, Oak Ban OK Banana, I guess, or Oklahoma OK Banana, uh, is being shot in Cebu, Norway, I guess, or Sabu, Sa 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 Correct me on my pronunciation there. I don't speak Norwegian. More importantly, Scarlett Johansson is back sporting Black Widow's iconic red hair. The blonde is gone. So that's also led to some speculation, too, that uh, this might be a prequel of sorts or an in in-between movie. She did die in Endgame. Uh, another photo shows Natasha Romanoff purchasing groceries from a local store. Um, but she looks in less shape. But, you know, you never can tell. Could be cold. Uh, here's a video of her entertaining, uh, entering the store with a couple of men and then exiting by herself. Um, yeah, what went down in the store? Is this the video? Uh, I'll tell you what went down the store. She bought stuff. <laughs> so there is some audio. Scarlet's quite short, quite good looking though. And anyway, okay, that's fine. Sorry about the sniffles there. It started after I started the video. Recording started on the set. Okay, so here we have uh, things on the set. These are these things look like they're this. Okay, this is Twitter. Uh, okay, banana, and he's, they have a icon of Scarlet on the set. Uh, what else? Okay, so that's how Sabo Sabu. Uh, uh, I don't know. Is, oh, is that an U? Uh, Sabu. Um, there's Black Widow. Uh, so this is, you know, I can click on it and go, uh, it's sort of helpful, sort of in line. Not really what I'm looking for. All right, here we have some more video um, stuff on the set. Um, just a little, I'm just going to do short little clips. I don't want anything picked up. Uh, so we have some boom mics. We have a camera crane. So we have some things going down. Oh, so that, okay. So that may have been, I wonder if that looks like it's the same store. I wonder if that was action of something going on. Not her just buying something. Set photos and Natasha's red hair don't really tell, give us details as to the plot or the, where, where the film is, when the film is taking place. Black Widow sacrifice. Okay. We know that it's possible that Black Widow could be an alternate reality. That is possible. Um, this could be a Black Widow that survives the snap and all that stuff, or maybe Thanos, you know, because it's supposed to be the whole universe, but it is, you know, there are parallel universes. Uh, we, we know we get that in Spider-Man. Uh, Marvel's already giving uh, uh, diving headfirst into that exploration based on the trailers for Spider-Man uh, Far From Home, which indicate Mysterio is from a different Earth. Uh, there is some speculation that that is Mysterio, Mysterio being, um, you're basically lying to everybody, you know, conning everybody. Uh, and that might play out in the next several films. Uh, we'll see if, if Mysterio makes it out of Homecoming or how far from home. Uh, most rumors point to the film taking place in the past, specifically 15 years after the fall of the Soviet Union. Uh, that'd be quite a stretch. That's years ago. So how are they going to make her look, look that much younger? Uh, those rumors indicate Sebastian Stan's Winter Soldier could feature in the film. However, back in February, Marvel uh, reported reportedly hired Ned Benson to rewrite the original script written by Zach Schaefer. Uh, following Benson's re uh, reported hiring rumors being swirling that Taskmaster would be the main villain in the Black Widow movie. That'd be interesting. These rumors pointed to Andre Holland taking on the role of the character inspired by the ultimate uh, universe version of Taskmaster. Uh, Johansson, Johansson uh, previously described what she wanted out of Black Widow film. I love playing this character and I think she's definitely, I think there's definitely an opportunity to explore the widow as a woman who has kind of come into her own in making independent and active choices for herself probably for once in her life. She hasn't always had that uh, possibility. If it fit the criteria then, yes, I want to do it. Um, I guess that would be before she joins the Avengers. Although, you know, she's part of the Avengers team. Her her opinions are valued. So it's not like she's, you know, just stuffed in a corner somewhere. She will probably make $25 million. Wow. Wow. That is that is a great deal of money. What uh, do you make of it? I hope it's good, though. I just hope it's good. I hope it's not another cliche 
uh, superhero movie that we've been getting from Marvel for quite some time. Looks to cash in a Black Widow solo film. Um, so yeah, this is also on bounding into comics, and uh, I just want it to be good. Uh, I don't want the same uh, formula dragged out yet again and repeated and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat. Because uh, uh, that's what I got. Ti- I got tired of the Marvel. It's like, oh, it's the same movie again. So something a little bit different. I mean, I know it's a comic book movie. I know it's a superhero movie. I know there's a formula. I get it. But something a little bit different would be nice. And especially if they treat the character with respect and they treat the audience with respect. And uh, we don't have uh, Black Widow the wokeness. So we'll see. All right. So what do you think? You Are you excited for the Black Widow movie? Uh, do you need a break from all the MCU stuff? Are you looking forward to Phase 4? Or are you just tired? Or whatever. Or just hopefully optimistic as I am. All right. Thank you know, Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much. And see you later. <clears throat> All right, three, two, one. Oh, did you go, Dozer? All right, three, two, one.